Medical biotechnology is the branch of biotechnology that deals with healthcare and medical. Medical biotechnology, or red biotechnology as categorized under rainbow color code of biotechnology, has many sub-branches of advancement, such as antibiotic production, biosensor for detecting drugs in patients, regenerative therapy, and artificial organ production. Antibiotic is a substance produced by microorganism that can kill or inhibit the growth of other microorganisms such as bacteria and completely harmless to the host. This substance surely can treat infection. Originally, Antibiotic only derive from living organisms. Most of the new ones are semi-synthetic. The usage of the new tools can culture on a large scale called fermentation. And the new strains improve the production and can reduce costs. The aim of the development with biotechnology is to make more specific to bacteria with fewer side effects. So how does antibiotics work? It will inhibit the cell wall and cell membrane of the bacteria to kill them. It also interfering the protein synthesis by interrupting the translation process. It effect on nucleic acid in transcription process of the bacteria. It also act as a competitive inhibitor in metabolic pathway. Application of the antibiotics. First, chloromycetin. It is used against typhus, competitive cough, and typhoid. Second, fluoroquinolone. It is used to stop E. coli death in chicken and turkey. The use of biosensor in drug detection is a new thing that's been explored in life. So previously, uh, a person who consumes drug usually they self report themselves on how they they consume the drugs or the doctor usually screen the patient urines to detect the drugs so the first point is uh, the doctor will give the biosensor to the patient and then the agreed patient uh, will place the biosensor at their wrist they will wear it every time except when they are asleep. When they are asleep, this device needs to be charged. It is important for them to wear it every time because to give, to give complete result on how they consume the drugs, when they consume the drugs, and what type of drug they consume. The second point is to try to try intake of drugs. Uh, for example, a person who who take cocaine uh, when they take cocaine consecutively after they take it their body temperature will will for example when a person who take cocaine it is important to let the doctor know uh, about how they how they how much amount they take on cocaine and what time do they take so biosensor will report all this to the doctor charge the last point is on how this biosensor detect the presence of drug so uh, usually when a person uh, for example he takes he take cocaine their body temperature will become lower this device will detect the change in body temperature and report to the doctor The other medical biotechnology is regenerative therapy. Regenerative therapy is the branch of tissue engineering and molecular biology. 
Researchers study how to use stem cell to renew disease cell. Currently, only a few has been proven safer and effective due to the side effects of this therapy, which are infection, bleeding, and pain at the injected part. Artificial organs are human-made organs produced by scientists as substitution for failing organs such as kidney and gallbladder. These human-made organs are synthesized from artificial tissues, engineered from stem cells as in bone marrow cells, and biomaterials such as carbon nanomaterial. The process where these artificial organs are synthesized is called organoneogenesis, which simply means organ synthesis. This process involves animal cloning where stem cells are cloned in animal organs to mimic the organ cells for synthesizing the organ in vivo. The main purpose of artificial organ production, as mentioned before, is to substitute failing organs so that patients will have second chance in their life by living with functional organs. However, the implementation of artificial organ is risky since the artificial organs have high chance to be incompatible with other functioning organs in the patient such as liver and stomach. As a conclusion, these four advancements of medical biotechnology are like a revolution for humankind to achieve better improvement in health preservation.